Hello everybody and welcome back to some more r slash scrap mechanic. Today we're getting things started with pixel art, or should I say, rixel art. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, it's a it's just pixel art of uh, of Rick. What's the what's this going on up here? I don't know what's going on up here with that line, but uh, this is some pretty good pixel art. I gotta say, did you paint this yourself? It looks like all of these colors might just be in the paints tool naturally. That's some pretty good pixel art. Look what I made for my cookbot. You know, Cookbot makes us a lot of things. Sometimes we gotta make something for Cookbot. Well, what do you call this? What do you call this? Just like a little portable restaurant? It's, it, it, the cash register and everything. A tip a tip cup and everything. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> this is tagged as creepy. I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Oh yeah, what, what is it? What, oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, what? Oh gosh, what? You see what the eyes are doing? What the heck? This is like a, this is like a tote bot and like midway through its animation. So the eyeball that's on is like halfway through the eyeball that's off. Which by the way, if you guys didn't know that, that's how these parts are made. Uh, there's actually like an on off state. There's two different tote bot heads in the same spot, but you can't see one of them. And when it turns on, the other one just sort of like pushes out in front. So that's that's how the eyeballs work and that's how the eyes just like turn on or off. Which, if you ask me, is kind of ridiculous because they could have made the eyes just like logic gates. But hey, then you wouldn't get fun things like this, like this weird pupil and ring. May like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> Toad bots are unlocking some form of Rinnegan or something. Is this a good looking speedboat? Bandicam? <laughs> I didn't know that thing was still around. I gotta say though, it's a pretty good looking boat. Like, micro, micro, micro. Just about everything in the game that is dwarf sized, like intended for the size of dwarfs, I think looks really, really good in the game. But also the smooth, the smoothness of this also makes it look really good. And look at this thing, look at this thing go. Your own personal little speedboat. Well, I guess it would be a jet ski then, wouldn't it? Oh, that's so sharp. My gosh, the the nose the nose of the boat is so sharp. Oh, beautiful first person though. You got a compass and everything? Wow. That is super adorable. So yeah, the question, is this a good looking speedboat? I'd say yeah, that's a pretty good looking speedboat. This is a vehicle. Last of Genuine Steam, Chinese JavaScript class? Oh, okay, okay. I thought I was gonna see like some actual pictures from China. Like what? Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, anyway, so actual picture from China. <laughs> That's something that I actually really like to see is uh, like somebody having a real photo and then like trying to recreate exactly what they see in a video game. I think that's really cool. Early game is like people who buy expensive shoes and have them in their room on display. All right, well, this is just a political statement on early access games, but uh, let's see what they, <laughs> let's see, let's see what they meant. And they meant, they, yep, they, they <laughs> this is exactly what I was saying earlier. If, the, if you make a meme, but you make it in scrap mechanic. This is hilarious. Seems like driving on the square mesh blocks. <laughs> okay, like driving on the square mesh blocks. Let's see. What the heck is that surface? Is that like wet concrete? Man, I've never seen like an actual tra- <laughs> What the heck? Tractors pulling drifts? That's crazy. I mean, of course those things would be able to. They'd have a lot of torque, right? God, I gotta watch that again. That's absolutely, like, what surface is that? It just looks like a, like a muddy concrete. That's crazy how perfect those conditions are. Like, he should have slid off, of, off to the side, like, twice already. But the fact that he can control that thing just found a glitch in the challenge builder. Heck yeah. Let's see what this is. I'm excited for this. What is the glitch? What is the glitch? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. The developers never accounted for this. <laughs> wow, that is great. That is hilarious. You can just, oh my God, you can fall past the teleportation layer. You're gone for infinity, bud, you're gone. 
Look at that, the light's not lighting up your hammer anymore. You're getting out of the render distance. All you can see is nothing but gray. Empty, neutral gray. It's not white, it's not black. It's in between. Nothing. Zero. Prepare to stop existing. Man, that's hilarious. I can't believe I can't believe challenge mode went years without anyone seeing that. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. Here we got a first test with a new control system of the insect ornithopter. Let's check it out. Insect ornithopter. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, no way. Is it really It's actually flapping wings. I really like how they got that realistic motion. But because of that, it makes it look gross, like a bug. So, <laughs> good? <laughs> Seems like one of the devs is colorblind, but that ain't the splash color food should have. It's not the splash color that food should have? Choosing incorrect hex code? <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see what mistakes these developers made. Orange, white, red, yeah, okay, that was all right. Okay, that's not right. No, 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 no. What? Wait, what? <laughs> that burger just splashed blue? Hold on a second, hold on a second. So obviously this first half, all of this is correct. Orange, white, dark orange, yada yada. Blueberry is not blue. Burger is something else. Man, what? How is that burger blue? You don't accidentally type hexadecimal if you know hexadecimal. That's that's a little weird. That's a little strange. Maybe they mix them up. Maybe the colors are meant for something else, right? And it's just out of order. Maybe that's how it happened. I don't know. Crash pad model in Blender. Tried to make a makeshift crash pad to get down from high places. I think it came out pretty well. I'm not exactly sure what they mean by a crash pad, but uh, oh, so that's what they mean by crash pad. Okay, so it's like a little object that you can have, like all bundled up. It's kind of like a kind of like an emergency raft or something that uh, you pull a string and it like automatically inflates. So I guess this is like to jump from emergency jump from a high place. You throw this down and it'll automatically expand, and then if you jump on it, you don't get fall damage. That'd be pretty cool, and I wonder if a mod maker can make this. That'd actually be pretty cool. And uh, you know, instantly a lot of players will carry one of these around, even if they never use it. This is a <laughs> the design of a part like this. This is some. This is how you occupy one slot of a player's inventory forever. Here we got a vehicle, not amphibious. Second person camera V2. Second second person camera V2. What? Wait a second. What? Hold on. For a second there, I thought it was just like a camera controlled, uh, whoa there. I thought it was just like the Orient Block camera control thing that was following another vehicle, but no, this is actually, this is actually another mod. Where the player's camera view is actually on the other view. See, now this is a useful mod. Holy moly, this is gonna be useful for a lot of stuff. And this chase cam is already one of the things that it's pretty amazingly useful for. <laughs> Except you can't see where you're driving. <laughs> it's always been a little bit of a hassle that... Um... Oh, and you can actually switch back and forth? Now that's cool. Wait a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can actually just activate it? You can just activate it with switches. See, that's gonna be so much more useful. Like, it's always been such a hassle to like position your seat so that you can get the best view for whatever you need. But if this is gonna be available in any seat, any creation, that's gonna be a whole different story. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Security cameras are definitely gonna be a thing. Like, if you have these things on, uh, on, on a farm, like a remote location, and you are very far away from it, but you want to check in on it. Just put a camera way out there, and then you know, hop in a seat and flick a switch, and then you teleport there to <laughs> to see what's going on. Ah, uh, that's this is this is some good stuff. And just for anyone wondering, that camera part seems to be in the Fant mod. So definitely check out the Fant mod if you're into that stuff. That is super cool. The second person camera. That, that's pretty cool. All right, here we got some fan art. 
I still don't understand how it harms them. Who would win? An army of giant robots armed with a scythe and chemical launcher? Or some rectangular shaped boys? <laughs> it harms them because unripe potatoes are hard. I guess it's a little bit weird to think about when you put it into such uh, realistic terms like this. Like, uh, the spud shotgun shouldn't really do any damage to a giant robot with a scythe, but apparently it does, so... Hey, I'll take it, I'll take it. My hyperslide modified diesel train inspired by Scrapman's drift sled. So, this is just a drifting train? It looks like it, yeah, it looks like it has these square mesh blocks all on the underside. But it's like a train engine. <laughs> it's like a train engine with a bunch of thrusters on the side. And inside the train cabin, holy moly. That's pretty cool. Also, kind of, wait, what's going on? Why do you have uh, component kits just like decoratively on the side there? Kinda, I want to see a video of this thing in action with like a full train. 36 crates truck, work in progress. Look at this vehicle. The driver cabin is <laughs> less than 5% of the entire vehicle. And look at this, two front wheels, each with their own suspension it looks like. Holy moly, this is a big transport truck. And wh who, who are you kidding, who are you kidding? You can fit more than 36 on there, you just keep on stacking on top. <laughs> Look at that, you can barely fit onto the trader pad. Here it is, it looks like it also comes with a trailer. This is in creative mode though, so I guess that this is what you're gonna be publishing later. Good stuff, good stuff. Trying to rescue a poor farmer. Wait, what? He's just stuck. Oh my god, scrap mechanic physics! <laughs> That's hilarious. So you're just like, smooshing him in between the bars and the ground, and that causes endless spinning? Huh. Hey, isn't this how easy walkers are made? How are easy... Hold on a second, how are easy walkers made? <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta say, that's not a bad idea for how to get... How to get yourself out of a out of a jam? Another thing that you could typically do is just like get some cardboard and just like lay it flat underneath the uh, underneath the wheels. Either the cardboard will shoot out or it'll just do something like this piece of wood is. Tying the piece of wood to the wheel like this probably a much more reliable way of doing it. So this is actually pretty smart. This truck should not be moving. 96 crates, by the way. All right, let's see this 96 crate truck. 96 crates. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that advanced physics? It's hard to tell. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, the front of the truck's not even making contact. Dude, what the heck? And that's a gas engine as far as I can tell. That's not the electric engine. My goodness, I'm, I'm really curious how much fuel that's actually consuming. <laughs> Even going downhill, you can't accelerate. Or else it picks up the front of the truck. That's hilarious, you can't even go downhill without doing that. Can you even get the trailer on there? Like, there's another trailer back there, is it gonna work? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter as long as any part of the blueprint is on there. That's crazy. <clears throat> <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. When you've got a huge farm, you need a huge truck. Here's the first look at the CraftBot for ScrapCraft, our upcoming mod for Minecraft. CraftBot for Minecraft. Wait a second, really? Hold on a second, really? Are we gonna see, are we gonna see scrap mechanic parts in Minecraft? No way, I wanna play with that mod, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna be playing Minecraft again. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be playing Minecraft again anyway, but this, this is like, I would love to play Scrap Mechanic in Minecraft. <laughs> uh, that seems like a fun idea. My Sturv 103B Tank Destroyer. Hey, we got a, we, we got a Sturv here. Sturv. Oh, that's super cool. I love when tank builds do that. They do a little hatch that flips open and... Usually, usually tanks just like don't care about that. What's going on with this tank though? What? Hold on, you can angle your shots by your wheels? <laughs> it's not turret control? Hold on, you angle your shot with your wheels. That's something else. Great job with the tank build. Super functional, looks really pretty. My goodness, you, you hit all the marks. <laughs> 
All right, here we got some fan art. This scrap life. I didn't choose the scrap life. The scrap life chose me. And I gotta say, I I very much identify with this photo right here. It's not that I I don't. It's not that I want to like scrap mechanic. It's just that I I I, I like it. Okay, I like scrap mechanic. Still adding scrap mechanic to Minecraft. All right, all right. We got some Minecraft. Wait a second, wait a second. We got the hammer, we got the sledgehammer. We got the sledgehammer in Minecraft. And the spud gun. Heck yeah, dude. Look at the, I'm, <laughs> I'm loving all these progress updates on the on the scrap mechanic mod for Minecraft. I don't know if it's, uh, I mean, is this supposed to be on the scrap mechanic subreddit or the Minecraft subreddit or both? I don't know. But hey, I'm looking forward to it. All right, we got some more fan art made a wood haybot from Legos. Let's check it out. A wooden haybot. No way, look at this. Look at this thing, holy moly. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, it's so cute. You like went super micro. <laughs> I guess you had to build it to scale with the uh, with a rake here. Oh, that's so good though. I gotta say the, the like the super micro Lego builds are very impressive because like you you don't have that many shapes and you gotta find exactly the one that fits in the spot. So the fact that you could get it like this and like posed and everything like that's super cool. You made it look exactly like a haybot. Great job. Uh, what the heck is this? Joke stolen from Durf. I just put it into a meme format. What the heck is this? <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I've seen this. I've seen this. <laughs> Me, when I hit my funny bone too hard. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, this is just a screenshot. First of all, this isn't even, this is not even from me. This is, uh, I think, what somebody else shared with me. It was just a screenshot of, like, what the dwarf looks like when you're, like, far outside of the map, far by beyond the teleportation border. Like, you're just falling and falling for infinity. Eventually, the game doesn't render properly. And you see things like this, where each vertice of the model tries to, like, round itself to the nearest, uh, well, to the nearest point that the computer can even calculate with those large numbers so that's why things you know that's why the model will start looking really weird and that's why all the vertices of a pupil are no longer a circle they like round off into weird positions and stuff <laughs> but yeah this image was in my discord and uh, I think I also like drew over it a little bit so I'll put that in here just to, for those that are curious funny image embodies exactly what it feels like when you hit your funny bone slightly over engineered door locking mechanism Quite strong though. I always love to see some new engineering designs. Uh, so this is a door locking mechanism. Let's see what it is. All right. Oh, uh, okay. So it just puts a hook in place. And that hook will hold the door. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, if there's one thing that I could say, scrap mechanic physics is the only thing to worry about here, because that's such a tiny, tiny hook. It can technically pass through the, the, the bottom there with enough force, with enough speed. Yeah, it doesn't even need to have enough force, actually. If you just hit the door with something very, very fast, and that speed transfers to the, to the door object, that hook, that hook might be able to go through the door frame and still open the door, but that, that'd be like the only issue here. This is actually a really good door design. Mmm, gern. <laughs> what do we got? Mmm, gern. <laughs> that's, that's all this post was. This post was just corn. He's wearing, he's wearing the corn shirt. He's got a lot of corn. Oh, there's a, there's a walk back there. I didn't even see. Mmm, gern. Just a normal day in scrap mechanic. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, okay, oh gosh. Just a normal day in Scrap Mechanic with a colossal amount of bubble wrap. Oh, oh god, is he spawning more than one? Oh gosh, it's super cool that you can see through it though. Like, it, I, I, I wanna go inside that. I just run in there and be crushed by it. Don't you just love Scrap Mechanic physics? I love how they're also alternating so perfectly. Like one after the other, they're taking their time. Thruster and button animation test. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, whoa there. We got some pixel art here. Nice. <laughs> button animation, there's the thruster animation. Cool. Gotta love the pixel art. The chef slash bartender. <laughs> uh, of course, it's always, it's always gonna be a cookbot. Always gonna be a cookbot. Look at the bar back there though. They got a huge selection of pipes. Mmm, pipes. I don't know, like one of these two would be whiskey or rum, but like what would be the green one? What would be the black one? Would the white one be vodka or gin or something? I don't know. And I feel like that green one is like some minty thing. 
I think this is one of the most common builds in a scrap mechanic survival world. Where you have a cook bot, you gotta build him his own little corner, and sometimes that means a kitchen, sometimes that means a restaurant, sometimes that means a bar. I can't find where it went, but rest in peace is airplane that I never saved. There should really be a return creation to lift button, and they even labeled this as an issue. No, I think the issue here is that you just uh, need to remember to save your creations, like, obsessively. Like, every five minutes, every new piece that you add on, just save the creation. Every time that you drop the creation off the lift, make sure you have it saved first. I know it's gonna spam your lift with a bunch of different versions of the same thing, and you gotta name them like airplane number one, airplane number two, airplane number three, and then you gotta find the highest number, and that's kind of an annoying thing to do, but that's just kind of what you have to deal with uh, if you want to avoid these problems of, you know, missing blueprints and, and losing creations. What is this? What is this plane? <laughs> what is this post again? <laughs> That's right, that's right. We're just taking a look at this plane. Uh, I guess this is the last known footage of this plane. Even this person doesn't have this plane anymore. But hey, at least you have video footage of it. So technically, if you wanted to pause the video and build the exact same plane part for part, technically you could. I mean, it's better than nothing, anyway. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, I mean, if I were you, if I were you right now, I'd slap down a, a gravity module or modulator. You know, the, the, the one for the world so that you can turn off gravity and then, oh, okay, never mind. There is no catching that. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. See, I thought you could just like turn off gravity and fly to it yourself really quickly and catch it. But uh, no, nah, if it's doing stuff like that, it's gone. It's just gone. Help! Yo, 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 yo! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So it looks like they changed the, uh... Wait, did they change the player model? No. It's just clothing. You just put on a different set of clothing. And then you <laughs> built yourself a cage to enter. Okay. Yeah, one of the role-playing servers coming to Scrap Mechanic. Ladies and gentlemen, the almighty tape bots are coming to Scrapcraft. So there's the original tape bot. And here is the Scrapcraft tape bot. Look at that. Look at that. They even got the exact same pose as this picture. What the heck? <laughs> They're trying way too hard to match this with the picture. But I love it. I love it. Are you kidding me? That's great. God, I, I like it. This is actually like I, I want to play Minecraft now. <laughs> this is good stuff. To show you the power of the weld tool, I cut this boat in half. All right, heck yeah. Where is this Phil Swift? Show me. Show me Phil Swift. It's, it's literally, all right. <laughs> all right. Hey, anybody want to build Phil Swift in uh, Scrap Mechanic? Progress on my insectoid ornithopter. The very gross looking thing that flies realistically. They got progress. Oh, okay, so they switched, they switched from the heavy weights on the outside to reaction wheels on the front and back. Wait a second, wait a second. Those wheels are also attached to the wing? What? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Like, do you see the whiplash the dwarf is getting? <laughs> oh, it's just, it's too funny to look at. I can't wait to see when it's done. New toggleable drive shaft linkage thing idea. You can toggle the drive shaft. What happens? Oh, I think I see what's happening here. They're moving the point of rotation with those bearings. Yeah, well, let's see what's happening. Toggleable drive shaft. I'm just kind of curious. Uh, okay. It seems like it's exactly what I said, where the controller just sort of positions the bearings a little bit off center from the center of rotation which ends up transferring a lot of this rotation to this side. Faint mod, new large container model. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Oh my God, a massive container. Dude, I'm gonna start playing survival again with a fan mod, are you kidding me? Dude, it also has like a display to show you how full it is. You gotta, dude, Fant, Fant, Fant understands. Fant actually understands how to make mods for Scrap Mechanic. <laughs> Wowie, Fant. Good stuff. I, I, you know, I'm gonna be start playing with your mods. I don't even care. I'm just playing with your mods now. Since the devs decided to do a Q&A. <laughs> that is so, yep, yeah, that is so true. Developer Q&A, Scrap Mechanics is like, wee, but the forgotten questions. 
And yeah, that's so true, that's so true. Everyone forgot about the horn. I myself didn't even check out the developer Q&A too much, uh, so I'm still gonna do a video on that. I'm like, uh, people wanna see my reaction to a lot of the stuff here, but uh, I've got even more juicy stuff than just the Q&A. We'll see when we get there, it might be next week. Scrap mechanic creations be like. Yeah, technically speaking, yep. <laughs> yeah, scrap mechanic creations do exactly this. Like we saw that plane earlier. The plane was just chilling, moving very slowly. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> crazy scrap mechanic physics. Here we got wireless peer-to-peer -peer messaging device using number logic. You actually got wireless messaging? Dude, that's crazy. That's impressive. If you actually, you actually got wireless messaging, that's actually impressive. Peer-to-peer -peer messaging device that I've made. So then if you had like lots of these in the world, would you be able to choose who you're sending a message to? Hello. Press the enter button. Gurga 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 jurg, hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, second person's a lazy typer. If you made a mistake, you can press the backspace or undo button. Well, of course, of course you can. So that's actually crazy. How does this, how, how does it, it looks like it's like going through every letter, letter by letter, scanning what the message actually is to send it in like a single wireless signal. So it's like it receives letter by letter. That's pretty cool. Spamming the keyboard will cause issues with the device. Ah, eh, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, okay, so there's the ID of you and them. So you can actually set what you're doing. Dude, this person put a lot of thought into their creation, like with all the reset buttons and everything. Like this, this is how you make, this is how you make technology so that it accounts for all of the mistakes in, <laughs> in it. <laughs> uh, no, this is good, this is good. Like, this is an actual product. Like, people could buy this, and, uh... I mean, there's no... There's no customer... <laughs> there's an ungodly amount of logic and connections. My goodness, look at all that. Spaghetti noodle. That's really impressive. That's really impressive. So, I'm, I'm a little bit curious, then. Can you have three of them? And have one sent to two, two sent to three, and three sent to one? I, I mean, that would be kind of a weird conversation to have, but, uh... I, I, I guess you still could do that, right? That's really cool, that's really cool. Peer-to-peer -peer wireless messaging. I tried to bill Escalator, but it's too laggy. What? Holy moly, they're actually building an Escalator. No way, that's so cool. Yeah, no kidding, no kidding, that's way too laggy. Darn, that's a good attempt though. That's a, that's a pretty good attempt for an Escalator. I think uh, you might have maybe some better luck with some other designs like, uh, I don't know, maybe using um, like permanently attached stairs, but they sort of like, interchange place with each other using pistons and stuff. I don't know if that's possible, but uh, who knows? Maybe I'll take on that challenge someday. It's like Gmod and Scrap Mechanic had a beautiful child. Skrip Mechanic and Gmod had a beautiful child. Beautiful child. Oh, oh, oh yes. Oh my God. That's the gravity gun, right? Hold on. That's gotta be from Phantmod, right? Of course it is. Of course it is, heck yeah. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Fant knows how to make some mods. I'm going to see a traitor. Oh my gosh, this is a Photoshop, you Photoshopped scrap mechanic crates all over a, an actual trip. <laughs> this is one of the most disgusting things. <laughs> oh my gosh. What even is this truck? What? Like, who decorates their diesel tank? I did a few Portal 2 test chambers in my creative world and decided to show you the walkthrough. Let's see these Portal 2 test chambers. Wait a sec, what, really? Hold on, hold on, really? You're, ma you're making the Portal test chambers? Heck yeah, dude. Are you kidding me right now? If you're actually recreating the game portal in Scrap Mechanic, that's gonna be one of the best things ever. And this is like this is exactly what the developers were talking about, where they were saying that you need to make your own game modes and stuff. Is this gonna be is this gonna be something that we're allowed to do in challenge mode and make use of challenge mechanics or could you come over here? Oh heck yeah, dude. With spud guns and everything. Oh, it's so good. 
automatic defense turret. That's so cool. <laughs> it's stuck at the ceiling because of scrap mechanic physics. I gotta say, this is actually something else you can build for Scrap Mechanic 2, the open and close animation for those turrets, with a sensor to detect if it's standing upright or falling over. Man, I wanna play these test chambers. Where can I get it? Where can I Where can I play with it? Hope you like my chat. I, I wanna play it, I wanna play it, I wanna play the, the... Here we got some fan art that just says, until they weren't. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but let's see. <laughs> oh, okay. It's yeah, just the in-game, the in-game propaganda. Our farm bots are very nice. <laughs> I didn't see, I didn't see the second half of this meme for a second there. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's funny. That's funny that there's uh, all this propaganda for the uh, for the farming corporation stuff. <laughs> Press X to doubt. Welcome to the error fields. Error, error. Oh God, what is this? What the heck? <laughs> so is there pistons underground pushing this up? You don't have to be quiet. That's crazy. To see such a sight of errors in their na <laughs> native hab. Ah, uh, yep. You know what? This also kind of reminds me of the uh, the glitch welded land boat video that I did where uh, you had like a creation that partially sank into the ground. So. This kind of makes me want to do like a like a shark build, a shark that has the capacity to like dive up from underground, bite a dwarf that's walking on the surface, and then like dive back underground with a dwarf inside or something. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. It's just getting me in the mood to you know build some uh, some stuff that goes through the ground. Weaponizing walks attempt number one. How do, how do you turn how do you turn one of the most harmless creatures into a weapon? All right. All right. Oh no, I see what they're doing. Cool. So the, <laughs> so the power of three walks is enough to crush one Haybot. That's actually pretty cool and uh, taking advantage of some very easy mechanics to uh, apply a lot of force, crushing force onto the Haybot. Super cool, super cool way. These walks don't even know they're weaponized. My gosh. Here we got a suggestion that just says, yum. Oh, God. <laughs> what, is, what is this? You must have modded the game or there's like a, there's like a piece of food like directly underneath or something. I don't know. Y you must have modded the game to like eat. Can you eat glow bugs in the game? I don't think you can. I mean, it doesn't help that they look like they have a super tasty lobster tail. Scrap mechanic hammer vehicles be like? What? What? What is? What is scrap mechanic hammer vehicles be like? Oh! 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah! Heck yeah, dude! <laughs> That's exactly it. Oh, heck yeah! I like how he has to take a wind-up shot every time, <laughs> and he's putting. He's a uh, parallel putting. Oh, that's great. Good stuff. He, oh, so good. So good. Classic. Oh, my goodness. And here we got some fan art. There mustn't be much left of him. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we do all the work while you collect all the profits, but that guy in the poster when the revolution started? <laughs> Yeah, he was uh, like that. That guy. That guy's not around anymore. I bet you. Wait a second. No. 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 That guy is the. That guy's the traitor. That guy's the old guy. He just turned old. He's still wearing the exact same outfit, the exact same gloves and hat, but he just turned old and grew a beard. I'm telling you, he's the traitor is actually the spokesperson for the Farmbot Corporation. So maybe I think he's still around. I think he's still around. And here we're coming up to the top post of the past month. I couldn't help myself. What couldn't they help? Oh, yep, 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 yep. There's gonna be at least one post like this every month where you're gonna see a truck in the real world that was just completely overstuffed, possibly leaning over, almost falling over like this. Like, look at this truck. How the heck? All the suspensions on the left are done. 
and all the ones on the right are like, oof, thanks for the break. But like, seriously, like this truck's about to fall over. Like this is dangerous. This is a dangerous, oh my gosh. You'd be surprised at how much cheaper it is to just drive two trucks instead of actually toppling over one truck, right? Like you're you're really hedging all of your bets on the fact that you're not gonna fall over. You take a wrong turn and you're done. So you're gonna see a post like this every single month on r slash scrap mechanic and uh, they drive me nuts every time. I don't know why people, <laughs> I don't know why people persist on doing this just to save that one driving trip, you know? Maybe it's a really long distance, but like you could rent a trailer to hitch onto the back of that thing. Oh my God. Just the number of other solutions they could have done. Drives me nuts, drives me bonkers. And that was the top of the past month for r slash scrap mechanic. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if you had a favorite post or maybe a favorite type of post cause like there's all kinds of fun stuff every month in scrap mechanic and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see some more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.